Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with my first empties in English. I have done, I think it's 20 of these in Swedish, but now my channel is in English and I want to continue with these videos. So this is my first, my empties, I think I won't call it. Um, so I will show you some products that I, that is empty. <laughs> and I will talk a little bit about them. And yeah, if I recommend them or not, and if I'm going to buy them. And I do this video when I have enough stuff. Um, sometimes it's more often than other times. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go through this bag. So, this is most body products and skincare, I think. I can start with two shower gels. It's these two. These are from... Uh, original source and it's uh, vanilla and raspberry and also mango and these two are vegans and they are they were really really good i really like them this was my favorite mango the only thing i don't like is i can't get the last of the product out because the hole is too small and even if i take off this one it won't come out but I really like these ones. I have a third one that I'm using now. And I can buy these again because these were really, really good. And they are pretty cheap as well. So I really like these two. I have also run out of uh, dry shampoo. And you will notice this that I run out of a lot of dry shampoos. Because I use them pretty often. And this is from, I think it's Colab. And it was their unicorn fragrance. And I was like, how does a unicorn smell like? It doesn't smell so good. <laughs> Maybe it's a unicorn fart. Um, it was... It was an okay dry shampoo. I want some volume with my dry shampoos. And this only took away the oils in the hair. So the hair looked fresh. But it didn't give any volume or anything, so I will not buy this again. A skincare for my face I am run out of, and this is a new favorite. I will buy this again, and it's Pixi's Glow Tonic. But the same here, I can't get this lost out, uh, but I really like this one. I used it every morning. It's a super nice toner. It likes waking you up a little bit and my skin my skin worked very good with this and I really like this and I will buy this sometime again. I have another toner and this is kind of dirty and this is a hydration toner and it's from a Swedish brand that's called Apolosophy. It's our pharmacy's own brand and this is a hydration toner and this worked good it was nothing wrong with it. It was a good to toner and I if I I can buy it again. I don't know if I will do it, but it was a good to toner and it worked good with my dry skin, so yeah, and it was pretty cheap as well. Yeah, I have a shower gel from Body Shop. This is my favorite scent from Body Shop and it's their early harvest raspberry and this is only available it sales, so I normally buy like three bottles of this, so I can use it. And this is my absolute favorite, and I love the Body Shop's shower gel. So I have one more bottle, and I'm going to buy more. And another thing from Body Shop is their almond milk body yogurt. I really, really, really like this body yogurt. It's super fast absorbing. Um, so if you are in a rush, you can just smear it all over your body and it sinks in in like 3 seconds. And I really, really, really loved it. And I loved it now during the summer because it's a little bit cool. So it felt really good when it was so freaking warm. And this was the almond milk body yogurt. I don't know if I said it. And this is for sensitive skin and I don't have sensitive skin, but I have really dry skin and this worked amazing. Then I have two mists that I have run out of and 
These mist do the same thing and uh, one is from Lumiere. It's the Glow Refresh Hydrating Mist and this one is the best mist I have ever tried. I have a new bottle. And then I have also used up my Mandarin Energizing Face Mist from the Body Shop and I really really like this one. I can definitely buy this again just because it's so small and if you fly anywhere you can take it in your hand luggage and it just if you want to have it when you're out you can put it in your bag or something it's a very good size and this was also really really good so I can definitely buy this again then I have used up one of these makeup wipes I don't know what I saved it and one of my favorite cleanser is Empty and this is the Body Shop's Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter and this is butter and this is the best makeup remover I have ever tried. It takes away everything. Every mascara, every eyeliner, every everything. It takes away everything. I really really love this and I will definitely buy this again because it's so freaking good. Then I have a really old hand cream. I found this and it was empty. I don't know why I put it back in the drawer. And this is from Sephora and it's their Lemon Verbena Moisturizing Hand Cream. I didn't like this. And then a skin, another skincare product is from The Ordinary. It's the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I think this is my third bottle. So obviously I like this one a lot. I think it's very good for dry skin and it's also very fast to sink into the skin and I really like this. So I have a bottle and I don't know if I have one more. I have one that I'm using now and I think I have one backup. I'm not sure. It's really good. Another makeup remover I have run out of is a waterproof eye and lip remover from Lumiere. This was good. I don't think that I need only a makeup remover for my eyes because I like to take it all with my face makeup remover my face cleanser so this one it was good but I don't think I need only for my eyes then one of my favorite masks is empty and this is from MIS it's their treatment and sun peel and this is a effective and sun peel with AHA and BHA acid I love this I talked about this in my collective haul that I bought another one so I guess you know what I feel about this one. Now I think we only have makeup left. I have thrown away three makeup sponges. Uh, one is from W7 War Paint 7 W7 it's their power puff. I don't like this anymore this is too hard so I don't like it so that's why I'm throwing it away. But then we have two sponges that I like. The first one is a normal beauty blender. I like the beauty blenders but I don't think they are worth the money because they are so expensive and I don't think they are so much better than the other sponges. So I bought this a long time ago. I have had it in my drawer and I think it is the lost. This is the last beauty blender I have, so I don't think I'm going to buy any more beauty blenders. And then I have the Echo Tools sponge. And this one I really, really liked. The one thing I didn't like with this is because it's so big and flat up here. Like the beauty blender, it's pointy. So it's very easy to put on your concealer and this one isn't. And that is the only thing I don't like about this, but it's so much cheaper than the beauty blender and it's so good so I can definitely buy this again I can live with this big flat side so I think I'm going to buy this again because it's a really good sponge then I have been going through my foundation drawer and I usually don't buy so many foundations because I find a foundation I love and I stick to it but these are four foundations that I've tried one of them I have loved, but I don't anymore, and the other three I don't like. So the first one is the CC Foundation for Makeup Store. I have talked about this before. 
this was my holy gray foundation but it doesn't work for me anymore and it's not old or anything like that it just doesn't suit my skin anymore so I'm gonna throw this away because it's going to get old soon so yeah and then we have two foundations from Lumene one is the matte foundation and I don't know why I bought this one because this is a matte full coverage foundation and I don't like matte foundations and I don't like full coverage foundations so I don't know why I bought this I used it a couple of times but I don't like it because it's not for me and for my dry skin so no and then I also bought their glow foundation I normally do like this light coverage but this was so glowy and so light coverage that it you didn't even see it almost, so I don't like it. And the third foundation is foundation. I have used this a couple of times, but it's not for me. And it's from Eden Minerals. It's their Pure Mineral Illuminating Foundation in the color Jorun. And this color suits me, so that's good. But this is also a almost full coverage and a matte foundation. Even though it says illuminating foundation, it was not illuminating at all. I just looked flat in my face, so I didn't like this one as much that I hope I would. So I will throw this away. Okay, now I don't have so much left. I have a nail file that I will throw away because it doesn't file anymore. And then I'm going to throw out a lipstick. And this is from Mirror Cosmetics. It's their Ecstasy. And I really, 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 really dropped something. I really really loved this before but I don't anymore. It's a cool color. It looks like this. And I don't like the formula anymore and I just every time I wear it I regret it same time because but it is pretty nice. But no. I haven't used it in Maybe six months, so I will throw this away because I. Don't, it's a cool color, but I don't. I don't like it anymore. I never reached for it. The last two products is two kinds of mascaras. The first one is a normal mascara for eyelashes, and this is Isadora Grand Volume Lash Curler. I I like this. I haven't had it for so long. It doesn't. It's not old yet, but my eyes start watering, so I don't know if I am allergic to this one or not. Or maybe I got a bad batch, or that it's turning old, but it doesn't smell old. I haven't had it open for six months. When it start to... When my eyes started to water, so I don't know what it is, but it's a good mascara, but I, I won't buy this again. Because I think I maybe am allergic to it, I don't know, but something happened with my eyes when I used it. And last product is from Eden, it's their perfect eyebrows tint. It's almost gone. Perfect eyebrow fiber, in fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel. And this is one of my favorite brow gels. I have a new one that is soon empty as well. So yeah, I bought a new one and I think I'm going to buy a new one after that is empty as well. And that was all for my empties video. I hope you liked it. I like to see them myself because it's always fun to see what people think about products they have used and also maybe some recommendations or something that you should never buy. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press like so I know and if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!